same team. So it's such a huge dynamic player. All right, well, we have got the draft of game one. Let's kick things off between SK Gaming and Team Secret SK. Do you have first pick, first ban for game number one? And already taking the Lyra and Adagio off the board right away. That Lance going to be then first picked by SK. However, because it's Cavalifar, you don't know where that Lance is going at all. It could be any of the three positions. I, Yes, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, technically, Finn <laughs> has been uh, played in the lane too, but I don't think that's going to happen here today. Finn, uh, the nice pickup early on. I mean, with Mowgli playing, that yeah. Finn pickup is so big for Team Secret. Obviously, you know, one of the originators of playing Finn in general, and has, it's one of his most played heroes, so definitely look for some plays to be made there. Yeah, I'm curious to see if they go ahead and ban out uh, the the Vox to get it off of uh, Kval's hands here, or they feel like, I mean, they could definitely go ahead and pick it up, but I don't like the Vox necessarily up when you, you're into the lands. And uh, <laughs> it looks like you were ready to say something. No, there, I found out some pertinent information for later, which just blew my mind. We'll get to it when we get Ooh. to it. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm excited. Now I want to know. I can't even focus. <laughs> well, we are going to have the Kestrel. Jackson about jumped out of his yeah. chair over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought maybe he had seen something that, that yeah. like pop up in the draft that we didn't. But like ghost a ball. draft, <laughs> not this draft. All I'll say is our stats about heroes picked were incorrect. Ooh, really? incorrect stats. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, SK Gaming, let's get back on track. I'm sorry, guys. Nice Kestrel ban. They got a chance to ban here. Lots of extra time to work with. Yeah, plenty of time, and uh, he's obviously going to be digging into that bonus time a little bit as they try and figure out what they want to ban here, knowing that Team Secret has the next pick. This ban is actually very important. Feels like a, a safe Ringo ban. Get that Ringo off uh, out of Leon's hands. But do you ban the Ringo here and let your opponent take Vox and leave you without the other? Yes, because, like I said, I don't like... I mean, personally, I don't think Vox... Uh, I think he struggles against the Lance. Like, Lance can get two basics off, even even if Vox Sonic zooms away. Like, if you're in melee range, he can attack him once, you Sonic zoom away, you attack him twice. Just an impale totally shuts him down. All right, well, it's going to be the Rhyme ban, so Team Secret do have the opportunity to grab that Ringo if they would so choose. As, uh, they're just going to be trying to figure out where they want to go with this pick. Now, they could obviously grab that Ringo right here, or they could go for a jungler. You can pick up Glaive's something open. like the yeah, like the Glaive or uh, Samuel is available. A lot of teams really big on Samuel at the moment. I've heard that Leon Samuel is pretty disgusting too. I mean, you could I mean, really yeah, insert he plays. Leon's yeah, insert yeah. hero name here is pretty <laughs> disgusting. Is still an accurate statement. So they are going to go ahead and grab that Glaive. That is just a very dominant pick at the moment. It can really impact games massively. Do you want to pick Ringo into the Glaive? I guess this is another question, right? Because no. I, I feel like he's going to be able to get on top of him pretty easily unless Lance mm -hmm. is really, really always hitting the Githian walls. Especially and with a Finn, no. I feel like they're trying to bait him into... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, if SK does, doesn't pick Ringo, then it works for Team C. Yeah, no, it's going to work wonders. <laughs> yeah, no, Team, <laughs> Team Secret did a great job with this draft thus far. Like, You're either going to be forcing SK to grab that Ringo, or it's available for them to pick up. and. Whichever one way that goes, I feel like Team Secret wins out as a result uh, it's just on the lane. So I really like the way that they actually did their draft. And here. you can see right now, Team Secret also, they're going to have one major damage uh, source coming out of the lane, assuming that this Glaive is built with the standard cooldown mm -hmm. uh, Glaive build in, in the meta here. And, and we saw that a couple times yesterday where, you know, teams did fail, uh, you know, putting two defensive items on that one uh, carry when they really needed to get four offensive items there and, and get all that damage out on the yeah. team. Double defensive items, though, doesn't really scream like it's Leon style. No. So I don't think that's something we're going to have to worry about too much. But the Kashka coming through, I like Kashka's this. done very well into Glaive. I like this a lot, especially because if Team Secret does now pick a Ringo, it's like, okay, Kashka can definitely get there and definitely be really annoying. And she'll, she'll smoke this Glaive early on, especially the way mm -hmm. Glaive wants to build. He's not going to, I mean, because this build on Glaive, he, we talked about how he's an early game, but he scales much better this way. But it does take away some of that early game damage output while yep. he can still disable people. So Kashka really nice. And the Vox is going to come through. So I, I love picking up Vox into a Finn because that get, you can now have the flexibility to go either weapon or crystal. Obviously, with the Kashka, it's most likely going to be weapon. But, you know, not you if have Langley was playing the Kashka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weapon Kashka, we get a CP Vox. Yeah, but the, the Vox is going to be able to just get stacks built up on that Finn before the fights really kick off. 
So uh, look for some potential there. And of course, Cavalifar on Vox is just a, some, a force to be reckoned with. So Team Secret's composition, I mean, we, we've seen them run basically this before, maybe even exactly. I can't remember if it was Finn with the Glaive and Ringo, but, you know, it's very, very strong. Now, if you look at SK Gaming's comp, we've said, okay, we like what they've done in these second two picks. Does it work well with the Lance, though? Like, the, gesh the uh, gestalt of the entire composition, like, does that work here? Lance, I mean, what do you think of when you think Lance? I think early game pressure. What do you think when you think Kashka? I think early game pressure, but not with Vox. Right, but this is going to buy time for Vox to go ahead and ramp up because okay. they can go ahead and flex in, into their opponent's mustache bush, go ahead and just control that area, make sure that he's not getting afterburned and knocked back and behind and farm. Also, the way that Glaive wants to build, he's not going to have the same damage output uh, in the jungle. So if Kashka finds him one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to have to defensively afterburn on out of there. And we normally talk about w trying to win the lane, and this one, it's actually going to be more important to watch the junglers because the jungle routes are going to heavily impact who wins the lane. Whichever jungler gets to the lane first and can pull that gank off. You know, if Ringo gets hit by an Impale, Kashka jumps in, that's a kill for Vox. That's going to propel Vox for into that late game quicker. If Glaive comes up, hits the Afterburn, Polite Company or Quibble, that's an easy kill for the Ringo. So it's the jungle rotations are going to be super, super important. Yep. And you were talking about jungle rotations yesterday a little bit in North America with Team Solomid. Do you mm -hmm. think these teams both have sort of a comparable ability to execute on those? They both definitely do. Obviously, both of these junglers and captains know rotations and know how important it's going to be. I'm going to be really watching to see if the captains actually stick with the junglers a little bit early on to help increase the speed of those rotations. Also, Mowgli, I mean, I, we can't confirm it. Maybe he's just saying things, but he did tweet out yesterday that uh, it was a long day after watching seven hours of VODs <laughs> of the whole day uh, wow. studying all the matches. So I assume that he's going to come in prepared knowing uh, you know exactly what to do in these rotations and expecting SK to make certain rotations. I hope you've prepared your predictions for me. Who do you think is going to take this one home? I'm going to go with uh, Team Secret on this one. These are both incredible drafts. I think they both did a really good job, but I like SK. All right. Well, our analysts disagree with one another. What do you guys at home think? Let's find out who is going to win this one as we head on to the Halcyon Fold with Dalsy and Four Court Jester. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Halcyon Fold. It is SK Gaming versus Team Secret here for our first semifinal of today. And what a semifinal this is going to be, Four Court. Yeah, having K Val going up against Mowgli, this really, you tell me this a, a year ago, I would have been like, no, nah, man, they're going to stay together forever. I'm really kind of torn on both sides. It's like when, when mom and dad fight sometimes, man, Dowsy. I just don't know who to go with here. <laughs> That's kind of the story of EU today, but we'll focus on uh, SK Gaming and Team Secret for now. As you can see that SK are playing aggressive. This Lance Koshka combination for the early game pressure means that Team Secret just have to let them take these fronts. And coming into the draft, I mean, this is a team where you can put Lance anywhere. Kavalafar as the starting laner for SK, he's very infamous for some of his melee tactics, especially with something like an on-hit Lance. So when they came into this draft, they said, all right, we're taking Lance. And then uh, Team Secret is just like, well, where is he going to go? Like, you can put him on any of these players. I think they came up pretty uh, decently ahead with their draft, though. Mowgli and that Finn is no joke, especially this patch. And Leon just absolutely putting on a clinic yesterday with Just Men. Like, but it might not have tricky, but these guys took their games 2 0. Yeah, they did. And it looked very, very dominant as well. Hopefully, for Team Secret, you know, as uh, Mowgli's Twitter feed says, he's come into this game prepared, watching VOD after VOD of SK, so he knows exactly what they want to do from early to mid to late game. That's just, that gets me excited as we head into this game. Now, once upon a time when the Iron Guard contract changes were proposed, we, we saw a smattering of them out there. But since Vankler 2.0, it, it's very few and far between. We don't see anything other than just like the Iron Guard contract. Mowgli, for example, is rocking here with his fin, but uh, some of that early aggression could be also here from Jetpacks with his protector contract coming out again you know, with Akashka. And you put that Lance with him, not only do you have a one-two punch, but that protector contract can go a long way to negating some early game bursts. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm really excited to see if that means we'll get an early evade from Tyrus and Jetpacks. You know, Tasty Bacon giving Tyrus the MVP award yesterday. So keep your eye on this kitty cat in the jungle. This guy has been stepping up to the plate and has been really taking tags when it comes to uh, just killing everyone. 
So, so far, nothing really in terms of a big major aggression. Team Secret actually taking uh, the shortcut home quite a few times this early on. They're not really looking to aggressively push out. They're not looking to aggressively invade. They do have some defensive scout traps down in the jungle, just in case the, the little kitty cat does come through looking for some action. But so far, relatively... Everybody's just more or less happy to stick to themselves. Elder Train coming down under fire. Jetpacks clearing out some of that vision. Should be a pretty free and clear SK, and now they're looking for the next train. Yeah, and you can see that SK gaming, they're positioning in this tri-bush, trying to find someone, catch Justman out. They just spotted him heading into that mustache oh, bush, is the which is going to give Kavalava a little bit of uh, a warning that there's a, a glaive in the jungle looking for a gank here, just a bit of pressure, so it forces Kavalavar to play on his side of the lane, gives Leon a bit of protection as well. You can see that uh, once more is going to be this uh, cooldown uh, glaive playstyle coming through. The Storm Guard has already been completed here for Just Man heading towards that Storm Crown. Uh, and, and then once he hits that Storm Crown, Crown power spike, uh, if Leon can also match it with an item of his own, get that fountain out for Mowgli, then that could be a, a, a point for Team Secret to start taking fights. Well, Tyra is not looking for a Storm Crown, at least earlier on. It's going to be more of an aftershock, at least uh, I hope it will be. I am more of a fan. I think that the stats kind of went with them yesterday with some more of these melee crystals. The aftershocks can just absolutely do so much work, especially up against some bigger, beefier uh, opponents like Mowgli's Finn, for example, that guy is just going to scale all the way throughout the game, health-wise, armor-wise. He, he's just so hard to kill. That percentage damage can go a long way. Certainly can, and we we did see a double shadow glass on Akoshka yesterday, which kind of failed. Would not recommend. It <laughs> right. It, it was you know everyone was so far ahead. Um, it was uh, Hammer's velocity versus. Uh, Gangstar serious, and the, the Hammer's Velocity side, they were so far ahead that they could afford it at that point um, because they were just trying to pressure out a Baron. In the end, they managed to take the win, but it was due to a miracle play rather than the fact that they stormed ahead. Look at this, Tyros, he's actually too far in the jungle. Crystal Sentry's here as well. He's taking a huge beating from that Crystal Sentry, but he's going to be able to walk away for now. Just Man making his way down from the lane trying to catch this Koshka out of position, yeah, but he's gone. Blood Rush passive, just so fast, so mobile, is easy to get away. Now, could uh, Team Secret actually, you know, glean something off of this? Not really, the timing's just not matching up for uh, too much. There was actually Mowgli, as soon as he had gone home, he picked up some scout traps, which he, he's now exhausted, but he also picked up some candy. If you take a look at that Crystal Sentry, well, the candy's faded for now, but uh, he was able to help save that out, and that was a big reason why Tyros uh, had to really jump ship at that point because that candy can really just beef up that sugar rush you know coming into that uh, century yeah and we, we saw it so often yesterday in uh, North America teams just putting the candies onto the crystal centuries all the time trying to protect them try and make sure that they do a bit of extra damage all the teams coming down to the jungle shop to purchase up it's found to break a point here for SK and they want to start the fight before they get in there's the yummy cat difference he's straight onto Ringo good impale Leon not to get to the wall it's gonna be first blood for SK gaming and they're going for more here for court looking for Mowgli who's caught out by himself a double kill for Tyroz and that's why this guy got MVP yesterday. And it doesn't actually look like he's going to be looking for the Aftershock. It actually could be that Shattered Glass again. Uh, we'll have to see if he doubles down on his luck for it. But a good start here to SK picking up the two. We did actually have a bit of a level advantage for Team Secret. We had the level sixes on uh, not only Just Man, but Leon there as well. We didn't quite have that advantage. You see KVAR didn't use his level six because he just simply didn't have it now that they've cleared out the jungle, uh, sorry, the gold miner and those kills, it's a bit of a different story. So uh, even, that, you know, down an extra button, the, the collapse was just good enough for MSK to come ahead. Item spikes, level spikes, it's something you have to keep in mind of, and Team Secret just walked into a death trap there. And it's a huge advantage for SK, you know, they get those uh, neutral objectives. Now Team Secret trying to regain some tempo, pushing up the lane, putting the pressure on Kavalava, but this guy is not even feeling it. No sweat broken. Uh, it, it is worth noting Leon in the lane, currently up by 20 CS. That is a substantial lead for the Ringo. 
<laughs> well, it is a Ringo. <laughs> Last hitting is sort of his specialty, especially with that weapon. But move, big catch on the cat. Yeah, Dalaman looks like he's caught out, but they're trying to turn the fight onto Leon. It's going to be a trade of the carries here, one for one, as the fight continues. Tyrus looking to put the damage onto Just Man. Just Man's got that polite company. Tyrus jumping back onto Mowgli. They're going to go down to the wire. It's going to be Tyrus falling, but the trade is there. And now Just Man Jetpacks is going to part ways. A two for two in the tri bush. Bit of a messy fight. I am somewhat relieved that Tyrus did end up picking up that uh, Aftershock just before the fight did happen. That's why he jumped back in. He said, we can make this trade, likely not to live through it, but you know, just kind of chunking down Mowgli that extra little bit, allowed Jetpacks to make that two for two. So Just Men will survive on one side, Jetpacks on the other. Not entirely too sure that the trade worked out for SK in the end, but they are still going to be more or less in the driver's seat for the aggression here. Yep, and you're gonna see a flare gun purchase for Mowgli there. So he's looking to get a bit of vision, make sure that Team Secret know exactly what they're walking into next time. It did look like Team Secret won the fight, but if SK Gaming, as soon as one of their men is caught, they're jumping straight into the action, making sure that they're protecting. And hey, look at this, Breaking Point and Aftershock just purchased up by Justman and Leon. Yeah, just men again, this is a very cheap build to go. You don't really have to be super far ahead. You can get it very early into the fire, looking at sub nine minutes, and just men has the core of this cooldown glaive now ready to roll. And that's going to be very important for the next set of fights because Leon so far has been the collapse target, and both times he's just been quickly eliminated. Now Mowgli has his level six. We're going to be seeing how much more defensive he goes. I really hope that flare gun just stays as a flare gun. I do think a crucible would be very, very important up against you know, basically every member of SK at this point. But we'll have to see if speaking. Just Man's cooldowns can uh, you know, be that, that heal that Leon needs. Yeah, and speaking of crucibles, you just saw it there. Jetpacks had just purchased his own. That's going to be Hellfire Brew blocked up by Kavalava's reflex box. So everything getting blocked out, no forced accords touching and Team Secrets engaged, just completely thwarted. The cooldowns for the Reflex block and the Crucible are going to be up before the ultimates of Mowgli and Leon. Such a cheap investment to really counter out these big abilities. Yeah, the Reflex blocks go a long way, especially if you can use them uh, correctly. And Leon, he's, he's a weapon, Ringo. He's not going to be depending on that ult. If, if he ever gets the chance and it's up, and you think that there's even possibly a remote chance of an engage, just throw it out. You can't really spare the seconds to channel it up in the middle of a fight. Not up against a silence from Kval, a knockback from Jetpacks, and a stun from Tyros. Well, it is a kill advantage here for SK Gaming, but the CS is pulling Team Secret into the gold lead. If just by 100 gold, Leon 128 to the 96 here of Kvalava. A huge lead for Leon in the lane. And when you look at the jungle as well, it's a bit of a different story. Justman hasn't really oh. been farming up com uh, in comparison to Tyros. He's got 51 to Justman's oh. 18. No, I, I, I just looked at the numbers relative to the time. This is a hyper farm, Ringo. That is why Justman is, is down in the pits for his CS. This is, oh, they so are they, giving they, all the, the farm to Justman. It just clicked now. That's why and he's you know almost 40 CS ahead of the timer. And that makes sense because, as you said, this... CP Glaive build that we're seeing popularized is very cheap. The Glaive doesn't need as much gold to hit his power item spikes and be relevant in the game. So by sacrificing some of that jungle gold to Leon, getting that hyper carry farm uh, onto the Ringo, it means that he's hitting his massive power at the end of the game much quicker. And that's extremely clever from Team Secret. Now, I know that Team Secret didn't really have the vision on this, but I do think they were well within their rights to take down the turret. We just didn't have SK in a position to realistically contest that, but uh, of course we see that with our eagle eye. Of course, Team Secret just they saw that rotation. It's just okay, gotta protect the land. Yeah, Leon goes down. This this strat's gonna fail. Oh, Leon's rooted up. This could be him going down right here. He's doing his best to escape Tyros and the claws of this Koshka. The force of cord will not connect with Tyros, but the Hellfire Brew might going to start burning away. Of course, it's a weapon power, not as devastating as a CP Ringo, but they keep Leon alive. They thwart the dive. Team Secret live another day. Now, Tyra Z is the only one without a reflex. Jetpacks actually did throw it on the Crucible, didn't time it right for the block. If there was any kind of follow-up on top of Tyra's, if, if Justman was anywhere even close to this fight, could have been a very big kill for Team Secret, a big push from there as well. But that fight was 2v3. Leon did survive However, all that jungle farm coming through, he has tank 
up. Look at this. Two items into the Aegis as well as that coat of plates. Probably looking for either the Atlas or the Metal Jacket. My money's more on the Metal Jacket at this point, but he is he is no longer that squishy target. Those first two deaths, he is aiming that those are the only deaths he has. Yeah, no, and uh, it's very respectful. Uh, this Koshka, this Lance, it's such a threat for Team Secret and Ringo, you know, whilst he has that twirling sil silver to get a bit of movement speed, speed on out of the fight, uh, he relies on his positioning to dodge out from the Impale. If an Impale hits, then that could just be him dead. If it was not for the fact that so much uh, investment into armor shielding has been purchased up. Uh, so I, I, I'm liking this from Team Secret. Feed all the gold into their carry and then protect him. And they've got a great comp for it. Afterburn on the Glaive, Polite Company on the Finn. It allows for them to kill Ringo so easily. Locked. All right, good stuff there from Jetpacks. Yeah, they're looking to re-engage the fight though. They're going straight in. Mowgli taking a lot of damage, but Leon, he's going to be dodging out from that yummy catnip frenzy. Now they're turning onto Tyra's good Yippian's war, but it's not enough. Jetman, Tossman jumping on in, finding the kill onto Koshka, and now they want more. Kavalava, the target is Leon's face tanking it. Oh, Only two oh. close to the fire, and that's going to be Kavalava throwing on back a one for one trade there. And SK, uh, well, even uh, Leon, maybe a little bit too cocky. Yeah, Kavalovar taking a page out of Von C's book right there. No fear, just fight. Justman and Mowgli started to, to melt away out of that fight, but Leon, he stood his ground. He said, I can do this, and unfortunately, he just cannot. That's a big win right there for Kavos. He's going to be able to come back to lane. We just have Leon respawning now. Despite hyper farm status, there's only 40 CS between these uh, these two carries. Leon has a good bit more in the defensive department, but Kavalovar's not that far behind. Right, and, and that could be a bit of a worry, as you know, the Vox is going to hit that late game uh, point as well. And when he does, it's going to be a nightmare. Tyrants purchased up for Kvalavar, as well as the broken myth here for Tyros. Look at the damage that SK Gaming will be able to output in the next fight. Yeah, the, the broken myth is if Tyros can actually live through this, uh, it will hit extremely hard. That's where Leon really just needs to be focusing down the Koshka. And he's been doing that very well. He's been surviving and getting those kills back. Oh, they're going straight onto Leon here. It's a bit of a bush bait, but so much damage onto Tyros. They're trying to do the damage, Leon, in the Ooh. back of the fight. Oh, oh it's a fourth and quarter of dreams, and they all get pulled in. <laughs> Team Secret looking to clean this one up. Leon onto Kabalabar, and he finds the kill. It's just Jetpack left alive, trying his best to escape Team Secret, but you can't. Can't go anywhere, but because you're surrounded in all directions. Afterburn against the wall. The Crystal Sentry looking for the killing blow, but it will be Justman to find the ace for Team Secret. And if they'd done a little bit earlier, might have been able to get a gold mine out of it, but I don't think they're going to complain at the fact that free turret push and a Kraken to be added here to the masses of Team Secret. What a fight for them. Small little area, big value coming out of Mowgli right there. Not only that forced accord, but everybody's fighting around him. He's able to give that fortified health off to Leon, and Justman is healing like a monster. Leon is no longer really feeling the heat from this comp. Yeah, it's insane advantage now for Team Secret. They get that turret and they get that Kraken now to push down the lane and look to grab themselves a huge lead in this game. Team uh, Secret about to try and see what they can take. SK Gaming looking to try and stop it. Is this double monocles point for uh, Kalavalava? So this Vox, if he can survive for long, will be doing damage. That force to call this time will be blocked up by the Crucible. Hellfire Brew does connect. They're just looking for the turret here, but Team Secret want to fight. Tyra is taking so much damage on the front line. Good knockback. Just then, though, he's on the back line. Can they get off to Kalavalava? Yes, they can. That's the kill. Going over to Leon, and they're looking for more here. Turret goes down. Tyra's as oh, well. so close. It's two for Team Secret, and they want jetpacks for the third. Will not be able to find the ace, but the choke turret going to four here. Wow, Team Secret have done their homework. They know exactly what they're doing in this game for court, and they want to finish. Yeah, Leon's looking for that third item, and honestly, I just think he's too far ahead. There was a good chance for Kval and Team to bring it back, but two two back-to-back -back, uh, failure of a fight right there. SK don't have anything to stop this track. They're gonna try, because Kvalavar's up, his turret's falling, Tyrus dives on, it's gonna be just man the target, and he's trying to get onto the Vayne Crystal, it's falling, Leon rooted up, they found two kills, Mowgli, the last man alive, with the Kraken doing the damage, but it is the ace coming out from SK, oh, they're gonna the live. Kraken, it's gonna be so close, 
but they are able to kill the Kraken. SK Gaming going to live for a couple more. You gotta wonder, I mean, Leon went down off into, uh, sorry, Justin went into the corner. He's thinking, maybe I can get home out of this one. He had spent that time with two hits on top of that crystal. The game actually might have swung their way. Now you can see SK branching out. They're gonna be looking to grab as much as they can off of this, but no minion spawning because of that Kraken. I, they're really gonna try to go right through this turret and uh, Katarius is tanked through it all. They are going to grab a little bit of gold. Are they going to go to the crystal uh, sentry, I wonder? It just looks like it's going to be the rest of the jungle here that they can get. And now it's going to be shop and see if they can capitalize. Wow, this is on a nice edge here. All Team Secret need to do is march into the base, but of course, SK Gaming going to be blocking Bogley. it up, making sure that does not happen. Aggressive positioning from SK here. Team Secret trying to get into the middle of the map so they can spot out where Team Secret are hiding. Ooh. Forced a cord, blocked up there. It is going to be that reflex block from uh, Tyros to block that one out. Crucible still available from Jetpacks. And I wonder if Team Secret will just look to back off here. Nope, they're looking for a bit more damage because they want to finish. Here they go, running on down. Wall treads used to get into the lane. Team Secret, they want to finish. They threw out uh, as much flak as they could. Secret is just trying to contain SK. Now, they had a little bit more of a run of the fold just now, but SK, if they get bottled right back up to that choke, well, there's no way that they're going to be able to stop out this Kraken. So for now, Leon, there are so many flares oh, no. going out for Mowgli. Wow, bit of a premature quibble there from Mowgli. Jetpacks looking to get into the action, but it's SK Gaming that won the fight in this oh. tri bush. They're trying to get on to the back line. Leon, he's, he's going to be impaled up. He's locked up for so long. Can Leon get away is the question as Tyros is doing the damage, getting on to him. Leon trying to get away, but he gets taken down by Tyros. And Kavalava is going to take Mowgli as we speak. Just, just man left alive as he walks away from the fight. But this Kraken, it's being started by SK. SK Jetpacks making that fight happen. He was looking for the three-man Githian wall in that tight little uh, tri-bush right there. Gets blocked by Leon, who then hoops it out of there, but he can't run away from the Koshka. Jetpacks is there to support, and just the, the rest of the teams just said, well, we can't catch up to our Ringo. Mowgli just chunked out and just destroyed by Kavalovar. Just hit after hit after hit. He didn't even bother looking for the chase, but uh, at the same time, Justman just could not get that heal in. And this is now a little bit of a dodgy situation. Mowgli, uh, he, you know, he's coming back in as soon as he can, but if he throws down those anchors a bit too erroneously here at this point, he does not have level three in it. That's not, you know, a 15 seconds, not a 20 second cooldown. So you got to really kind of pick your battles with that. Absolutely. You're going to have to see SK Gaming looking to try and punish as much as possible. This Kraken's taking a bit of a beating before it hits this turret. Currently, it's just men trying to zone out. Wait for it goes out. Team Secret Silence, but there's no re-engage coming out of SK Gaming. That's one turret, one with the Kraken here, but the Kraken, it's down to half HP. Will SK look to fight around this choke? Leon. No, they're going to back off. Leon, aggressive positioning. Team Secret pushing SK back so they can take this Kraken down and keep their base alive. It, it's back and forth. The gold is uh, just on par with each other. There's really no difference as they just keep taking the swing back and forth. But Leon was not contested on that one. So the Kraken only getting one turret for that return gold. Basically, like you can think of it like this. Every time that a Kraken dies, the enemy team gets free infusions for the next four minutes. Uh, and this is just... One slip up and it's done. Like I think we're at the point here, Dowsy, where we have enough power from each side so that any pick, any advantage could win them the game. Yeah, absolutely. It's do or die, really, for these two teams. And Team Secret obviously have that advantage of a completely exposed vein crystal. That's why they're pushing up the lane. They're forcing the hand of SK Gaming, making sure they have to rotate towards them. And SK Jetpack. Gaming are going straight for the fight. Impale on to Tyra's uh, Leon. Looking to try and get the damage down. The Forster Court lands, but who is going to win the fight? Tyros going low. So is this Finn. Leon untouched in the back line of Tyros. He's going to go down. They're looking for Kavalavar next, and Kavalavar's stun. That's two kills for Team Secret, and it's only Jetpacks alive. Just then, going to stun him up. It's a double for Leon, and that's going to be it. And Ace and a walk down the lane to finish this game. Team Secret secure game one of this series.
Tyra's unfortunately just just not able to really contribute past the mid game mark. Like the pressure was there, but in the beginning it was the overwhelming pressure by this late game, especially up against a Finn fortifying out Leon, giving him that extra, you know, fully pointed out polite company bonuses. I, Leon just unfortunately not really feeling it there. So. I feel like the Kashuka games, you really do got to end them out a little bit earlier. There's no Shatter Glass this time. He did go into that Aftershock here, but once you fall off against the Hyper Farm Ringo, it's so hard to get your footing again. It is, and, and you, you, you hit the nail on the head there. SK Gaming with the Lance, with the Kashuka, they had so much early game pressure. They needed to close that out before the Ringo came online. Unfortunately for them, Team Secret had done their homework and they knew exactly how to make sure the Ringo came online early. Pair it with a CP Glaive who's going to be, uh, you know, not needing that much gold to get his power spikes and give the gold over to Ringo. Great stuff coming out of Team Secret. Now time to chuck it back to the desk to break that one down. Thank you very much, guys. Man, what a way to start off day two. Team Secret and SK duking it out. SK nearly came back in that one.